Earn How's It Going team here, and this is not a BXJS Weekly. This is actually an update on uh, why there likely won't be a BXJS Weekly this week. So here's the deal. I the way I gathered the links for BXJS Weekly usually is by using the Telegram slash Discord bot that I wrote during one of the streams, right? So we have all the source code right here on GitHub. Um, it should be some there. There we go. There it is, right? It hasn't been updated in two years, right? So including all the dependencies and everything. So it's not exactly the state of the art thing. And uh, I guess that was the main reason for uh, the bot to being basically being compromised, uh, because this is exactly what happened. I've actually cleaned up most of the messages already. But at some point this week, uh, oh no, not all of them. Okay, I missed someone. As you can see here, somebody hijacked the BXS Weekly Discord bot. So purely Discord bot for whatever reason, the Telegram bot is not affected by this. And uh, posted a whole bunch of um, Arabic messages to Discord for some reason, like I don't know. What this resulted in is basically I had to take the bot down to figure out why and how it was compromised. So at this point, I only know that it was not my server. So my server is perfectly fine. Uh, but I still don't know how it was compromised. Uh, but yes, I had to take it down and I lost all the links that I gathered over the week or rather I lost the way to get them with one button press. So instead of doing a new episode for BXGS Weekly, what I'm gonna be doing this weekend is first of all, I'm gonna be trying to figure out how exactly it was compromised. Uh, my best guess is either I leaked a token during the live stream, which then I'm just surprised it didn't happen earlier. Maybe that's not the case or because of an outdated dependency because this one is like, I, I don't even know how many versions, like it's two years old basically, right? So there's just some sort of a, problem there, some sort of a vulnerability and someone abused that and managed to connect to the bot. I'm not sure. Again, I will have to dig into that to figure it out. But essentially what that means is that I no longer can type one command and get all my links over the week. I need to figure out why it was done, how it was or okay, man, why it's not even a question. Somebody just thought it was funny, I guess how it was done, how do I protect from that? And uh, then I will have to just manually go through all of those links in, in Telegram, Discord or whatever and collect them into document, which probably gonna take me an hour instead of, you know, 10 seconds as it used to do before when I had the bot working. And so it's a bit of a bummer here. Let's put it this way. Now, the other part of it is basically I'm trying to figure out what you know what to do with it. So apparently I've asked the question on uh, Discord and apparently most of you guys are actually indeed using the BXJS weekly channel and reading the links from there, which uh, I guess is surprising to me because I muted it. But then again, you know, I'm the one collecting this link. So I guess it's not that useful for myself. But yeah, so taking down the bot is a bad option, right? So there's few things I could do. Uh, obviously, updating the dependencies is the obvious thing to do right now the thing is that it seems like you cannot just leave it be because there will be some people who would try to mess with it and break my workflow right i'll, I'll be honest with you at first i actually wanted to just <laughs> shut everything down including my youtube channel and leave because just this is how badly i am burned out right now after my previous job i'm still getting over it and uh, the thought of, you know, having to sit down and try to figure out why the boat was broken, how do I fix it and making things right essentially just driven me crazy. Uh, over a couple of days, I got over it. So like, you know, this is what tends to happen with me right now. Like I think about the tasks and I get all depressed and it gets better and I uh, kind of go along with it basically. So yes. Yeah, so what what are my thoughts? Well, Thing number one is that the bot has to be updated, right? So somehow, and there's the dependabot, obviously, we could probably set up something like that, which is, I guess, okay-ish. But that means that if I want to automate all of that, I need to automate, like I need to add some tests as well. I have no idea how to test the Discord bot, for example. Um, this is like more research, more work. Um, another option is just to make this completely private and do not show the source code, do not show how I work on it, do not show anything and just basically hope that there's no vulnerabilities and I don't, don't leak anything. Um, another option is to just paywall Discord, I guess, right? It's like, 
asking people for a couple of bucks just to prevent malicious actors who would otherwise hijack stuff is a very straightforward and very efficient way, by the way. I know this will bring a lot of hate probably and a lot of people will not um, like this move, but it will definitely solve this problem, at least to some extent. But yeah, so I'm just, I'm still pondering, like I, I need to add a Twitter bot into that, right? And now like what is going to happen if someone hijacks that? Because I am I know for a fact that I won't have enough time to keep, you know, a good tracking of, of the whole thing. And apparently nobody but me uh, obviously cares about this thing, right? Because I'm the only one using it, essentially. Everyone's just reading the output of it. So I'm just uh, wondering what the hell am I supposed to do with all that? So if you guys have any ideas on, uh, first of all, why, uh, I mean, not why, why, whatever, how it was compromised. Again, my guess would be vulnerability in package, or maybe I really just leaked the token. I already regenerated it, and it seems like stopping the bot and uh, killing the token actually resolved all the issues. But yeah, it's, a, it's such a crappy situation. Like, man, I just, you know, I just want to do some news. I just want to produce some fun stuff, not deal with, well, this basically. So there you go. Anyway, I'm not 100% sure if there will be BXJS Weekly 153 this week. I will absolutely upload the markdown file. So there will be links once I get around to actually manually collecting them all from a source that, you know, the Telegram or whatever. But I, uh, yeah, I don't know if there will be an episode. Maybe if I'm not like that tired by tomorrow while figuring out the bots and articles, thing maybe we can do that uh but yeah basically i'm not sure at this point uh what i would also want to do in addition to twitter because we already talked about that right i would actually want to have um some sort of a machine learning in here that would automatically classify uh, links based on the categories we have right because we do have like we're already 152 episodes in and we have articles split into what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six categories, right? And uh, I think it would be fun to build a classifier that could actually do this automatically so that when I press export button, I will basically get the completed episode and I just have to verify and make sure that the um, categories are actually correct. The cool thing is also basically the more episodes we have, the better the classifier will be because the more training data it has. Um, the other problem is that I'm not sure, like, okay, so th this is already like diving into the details. Basically, I'm not sure if just having the titles would be sufficient. My guess is not because this bit sized awesomeness, for example, is mostly related to, well, the content being very small, for example, right? Uh, but anyway, this like, I'm, I'm getting sidetracked. I have a ton of ideas and zero energy to do them is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but yes, so, um, no episodes. Today, at least, um, we're going to see how that goes. And uh, yeah, at least the markdown will be there. And we're going to see if I have enough energy to actually finish the video probably tomorrow, if that's going to happen. But uh, there you go. Again, if you have any ideas or thoughts about how the bot was hijacked, uh, was it a token? Was it a vulnerability in the Discord JS, which again is quite outdated, like two years old? Uh, that might have been the case. Um, just let me know. I, I would be very curious to learn how it happened because I couldn't find any traces of, well, anything on my server, basically. And the bot itself was just getting disconnected every time. The amusing thing, or I guess infuriating thing, depending on how you look at that, is that Discord provides, Discord provides literally zero tools to figure out what happened. It's like you got your boat, you got your token, there's no history, there's no like connection log, there's no audits, there's nothing. It's like go figure out how the hell you got hacked yourself. Like, yeah, okay, I mean, I guess I'll, I'll try. Um, but yeah, that's basically it from my side. So thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, this is just yeah, a tiny update and uh, we'll see how that goes. I maybe see you tomorrow for BXGS Weekly. If not, well, I'll try to do a stream next week for the whole bot thing to you know, update it and um, fix it, I guess, and see where that takes us. So thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.